Hi Virgo, I hope you're doing amazing. This is your next 72. You guys already know that just because I say the next 72, this may actually resonate a week later or it could be something that has already happened. And if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we're gonna open it up with Psalms 115.15. It says, may you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, amen. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this Virgo. Ooh, the moon. Yeah, the moon. The moon card showed. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Something about the moon. Okay. Okay, for Virgo, their recent past. We have the star right here. Clarify the star. Virgo, I kind of feel like with the star and the page of pentacles, I think this is the page. Yeah, this is the page of pentacles. I'm always, I always have a hard time reading this deck because it's kind of weird to me. Um, it's in reverse right here. So, and we have the star. So I feel like with the star and the page of pentacles in reverse, what this is telling me intuitively is you're outshining, you're, you're shining. Well, some of you are outshining your competition. Like you're, you are outshining your competition, Virgo. Especially when it comes to something that you may feel like you don't know very much about. Um, for some reason, you're naturally very good at it. I'm getting. So you have something like that where you're, um, where you're shining. Like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. For some of you, I'm getting after having a hard time with like learning something. Um, I feel like you may have been having some hard time with learning something or trying to obtain something. It's, it, it, and it has to do with like your career or your money I'm getting. You finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. You finally saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Now this is in your recent past situation, but this can also, if this has not happened to you, this will be happening to you. It's like something about a light at the end of the tunnel with something you were trying to do. Okay, also something about a bluebird, blue jay, blue, blue, bluebird. You might be seeing bluebirds. Virgo's current. We have the nine of swords here. Let's go ahead and clear it. Clarify that. Okay, so Virgo, I see in the next 72, some of you, um, you guys might be worried about something. Um, some of you may be experiencing some sleepless nights here. I really feel like there's like some type of um, anxiety about something in your present energy. Um, and I feel like it has something to do with something still being unknown. Even though you're getting a bit of a light in a tunnel with something. Um, and for some of you, you're outshining some of your competition. You really are. You still have this anxiety that's going on. And I also feel like you're kind of like to yourself. You're kind of being to yourself because the Hermit is the Virgo card of Virgo. I feel like you're being to, um, to yourself. For some of you, this has something to do with a candle. I know this is strange, but something to do with candles as well. Let's see. Virgo's obstacle. We have the Two of Wands here. Let me get a clarification. Okay, so with your obstacle in the next 72 is you having to take action, um, take steps towards something. It's time to make the next choice. I mean, next choice, the next decision, um, the next move. That is your obstacle, but your ego is getting in the way, Virgo, of that. Like your, your ego might be getting, the, getting in the way. I'm also getting, for some of you, if that's not the case, because the Two of Wands can actually represent a partner, a business partner as well. Um, something about someone that you're working with could have a big ego. It could be you or the other person. Someone's ego um, is kind of getting in the way. But either way, I feel like it has something to do with ego 
either your ego's in the way, Virgo, for you to take the next step, you need to go ahead and drop it, or someone that you're working with, you may, they have like a big ego, I'm getting. Interesting. I'm also getting the world again, something about the world, um, completion, because the world is about completion, lessons learned here. But it's, okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so Vir Virgo, what Spirit is trying to say, like I was saying earlier, is you do need to take the next step. It's time to take the next step so you can complete this. It's time for you to close this. Take the next step so we can complete this. That's what I'm getting. Advice for Virgo, even though I already kind of gave Virgo some advice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have the page of wands here. So they're telling you to stay optimistic and use your creativity. They're also letting you know your spirit guides and angels. There's something, they're also telling you to finish what you started, just like I was talking about. Finish what you started. It's time to finish it. It's time to close it. But I'm also getting, you're going to get some type of good news. You've been feeling some, like very burnt out. You're going to get some good news pretty soon. There's some good news coming in. But finish what, you're, what you started. Because Virgo, I do get a sense that you are being a bit, you're getting a bit burnt out here. You are. You're being a bit burnt out. For someone in here that's watching the video, some of you are burnt out when it comes to your health or working in health care. That's what I'm getting as well. Let's see what else is going on with Virgo. What else is going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising? What will be happening? We have you ignoring someone. Um, you'll be ignoring someone in the next 72 or um, week ahead or so. There's someone that you're kind of ignoring, I'm getting. see you taking a new class some of you are about to take a new class or you'll be interested in taking a new class I also see Virgo you loving yourself much more like treating yourself taking better care of yourself in the next 72 or so a new book clock um, caught my eye too some of you are like getting into reading a new book yeah we have feeling overwhelmed with your workload I also see you feeling overwhelmed with your um your workload. I'm also getting at the bottom of the deck. I don't no normally look at it with my homemade deck. Someone dissed my homemade deck. I'm like, I like my homemade deck, okay? There are many tarot card, re card readers that make their own decks. I like my homemade deck. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and move on and not watch my, sh my channel. But anyway, <laughs> um, I was saying that something about like, schools being shut down. Someone's school is going to be shut down or something like that. But yeah, with the feeling overwhelmed, please ask for help. If you don't have help, do what I do because I have to do a lot of stuff on my own because my husband's gone most of the time. Sometimes you just have to say fuck it. <laughs> Certain things are just not going to get done. See what actually has to get done versus what doesn't really need to get done. They can wait, basically, okay? Do that. Drop some of the load. Like, stop trying because we Virgos, we like things to be a bit perfect. Sometimes that's our problem. We want everything like organized with certain things, you know, prioritize your mental health, Virgo. Like it's not that serious. I've had to learn to do that. Okay, let's see for your love and relationships. For your love and relationships, see. Okay, we have trust here. I'm going to pull another one. Mm. Okay. So, Virgo, for your love and relationships, um, I see that there's some type of issue with trust. Um, in the past, there was an issue with trust, but I see in the present moment with you and your relationship, there's some type of healing of family issues that's going on. Um, for, for a lot of you, I'm getting like parents, something to do with your parents, like healing issues when it comes to your parents. Um, something about healing something with your parents. 
is coming up and not really a relationship. Uh, I mean, not really a love relationship because that's still a relationship, a romantic, romantic relationship. That's what I wanted to say. Specifically, it has to do with a father I'm getting here, a father and something to do with when you were little I'm getting. Or this could be the father of your child and their children, like killing some type, their child, like the father and their, their child. This could be your, your ex, um, baby's dad, baby's daddy, something like that. Um, something about healing some type of issue there. But I do get, um, spirits coming through and saying, it's time for you to decide what you want. I feel like some type of healing, some type of conversation is going to come up, um, Something because I was also getting the moon earlier in your reading. Something's going to like come back up or maybe something you suppressed um, or something you didn't know about. And it could stem from your childhood. Um, and there's going to be a need for you to decide what you want. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what I'm getting right there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. For your money, let's see a money card for you, Virgo. We have the tree. We, the tree comes in a, a lot. And we have face. Okay, so your money is going to be expanding, I'm getting. We have financial growth. We also have a door that's about to open for you. Um, and family business is really like standing out to me again, family business. This could also be inheritance because this is a family tree. I'm also getting an investor. Some of you are getting some type of investor that's going to help invest in you to help you with something. Um, some of your entrepreneurs, it says self-made, your reputation. I feel like there's about to be some type of um, financial aid for you, Virgo, that's coming up very soon. If that's what you guys have been wanting, you're about to receive that. Okay. I'm going to do just a couple... Not a lot. Maybe like two or so. Okay. For your channeled message, Virgo. Yeah, the tables are about to turn on somebody. Um, the tables are about to turn. So when, if you were in a situation where you had it really hard and were struggling, um, things weren't work out, working out, you're about to be on the other side of the table where things are about to work out. And unfortunately, someone is um, going to be on the opposite side, especially if you dealt with somebody who was looking down at you and like being kind of rude. I'm getting they're about to be on the opposite end of the table. Um, if they if you see that they're on the opposite side of the table going through what you're going through, please don't laugh at them um, or, you know, throw shade. If that's not for us to do, you know, just see it for what it is. And that's their, their lesson, their karmic lesson. I feel like I have to say that it says you're just as good as they are. If you were thinking you were not. And it says your family member will recover. Someone's worried about a family member. You might hear about a family member being ill in the next week or so, but it's saying that they will recover. And then, yeah, stop letting them intimidate you. Whoever this is, stop letting them intimidate you. Someone might come around and try to test you, intimidate you. Stand your ground. Okay, Virgo? All right, but pick, typically Virgos do, though, because we don't play. All right, Virgo, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.